Hey everyone and welcome in the second video where we will code in Minecraft. If you have missed the first episode, find the link in the description. Today we will replicate an ancient story or Greek legend about the King Midas. You might heard about him. He wanted to be crazy rich and eventually he got a gift from wizard. Whatever he touched turned to gold. Trust me, you wouldn't like that. It sucks. Now you might ask what we are going to code. We basically copy the story. Whenever you will walk on Minecraft, the blocks underneath you will turn to gold. Let's see where to start. Switch to code connection and create new project. Let's name it somehow. Golden Road Create. Now we need to think. Ask yourself a question. What is the first thing which we need to make? The answer is that we need to place golden block. So I'm going to use the command library here. And we can either pick one of the sections or click here and search for uh, the block. We need to search for place block. We've got several options here. And I will pick the second one, which says place grass block at place position. So I'll drag this and drop it here. Now we need to have some trigger. Our trigger will be when player walk. So I need to go to section player and find walk. And here we go, here we go, on player walk. So I'll drag and drop this block around my place block. Now we have got on player walk, place, grass block at this position. So we need to just change the grass block to much better one golden block here we go and now let's test it out i press play button here and let's walk here we go it's placing the blocks on my position which is not the best place so we need to fix that so we have got uh, coordinates here and it's good to understand now how the coordinates works there's three numbers the first number represents direction east and west. The middle number is up and down and the last number is north and south. We will play with the middle number because we want to place the block below the player. So if you will use a minus num a number or minus one, it will place the block down, in this case below the player. If we use a positive number, let's say number two, it will place the block up, in this case, above the player. So let's take with the minus one, which is the below the player, and let's test it out. Play. And let's walk. Here we go. Now we have got nice golden road below the player. It wasn't too difficult, I guess. Let's take it a bit further and change the event to sprint. You can also add new golden block up of the player. Find out how to do that. We will need to add new block and for that I will show you one trick. Duplication. Click on the block by right button on mouse and then choose duplicate. We have got exact copy of the block which we can click in uh, our place. Then we can choose different block and change the coordinates. Because we want to place the block up of the player, we need to change the middle coordinates to number two. Now just test it out. When I walk, nothing happened. When I sprint, it's spawning blocks up of me and below me. That's exactly what we wanted. And there is even more useful tools. Undo button, redo button, and zoom in and out. This is especially important when your code gets complex and you've got lots of blocks around. In these situations, it will be useful to make backups. Luckily, Code Connection allows you to export and import your code so you can easily save everything to your computer 
or use it somewhere else. You need to click on the settings wheel here and choose save project. For import, click on import button, import file, and then choose file. All right, let's boost our code even more. I will add an extra feature, mob spawning. Let's say when I will fly, a donkey will spawn. Again, what will be our first task? Yes, find a test block which will spawn donkey. And for that, go to mobs and choose spawn animal. I've got the code ready for you here. So if you want, you can just copy it over to your code connection and test it. Just don't fly too high. Donkeys bring us to the end of this video. Try spawn different mobs or place different blocks to have more fun. And I will see you everyone in the next video. Bye!